guys, it's Jem here. Welcome back to another world edit tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the sphere and cylinder commands. And of course, we're going to be applying it to a build so that you can learn how to use it efficiently in building. Let's get started. So to start off, we're going to be looking at some spheres. The sphere command is very simple. If you would like to make a sphere, you type slash slash sphere, your block, I'm going to be using stone, and then a radius. I'm going to use a radius of five for this example. And now we have a sphere created around our player. If I do unstuck, we can get out here and look at the sphere that we've just created. So it has a radius of five. We were standing in the center. Go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. It has a radius of five from your center point. This is exactly what we wanted. You can adjust this radius or the blocks to fit your needs in the build. So I could do a radius of 10 and wood. And I get the same effect, except now it's much bigger and in a different block. Let's undo that. The sphere that we've just created is a solid sphere. So you saw that we got stuck in it once we created it. But as we can see over here, we have two spheres that are identical. However, their insides are very different. In this one, you can see that it's hollow. In this one, you can see that no matter how far in we go, it's filled with blocks. In building, I tend to use the hollow one more, but that's just a personal preference. You can use whichever you want. If you would like to make a hollow sphere, we do the same command that we just did. Sphere block, I'm going to change it back to stone, radius, except now we want it to be hollow. So at the beginning of sphere, we just put an H. So we type H sphere instead of just sphere. Now, when we create our sphere, we can see that the inside is hollow and we're not stuck anymore. Let me go through. And here is our sphere. It looks perfect from the outside. However, on the inside, we can see it's perfectly hollow. That is an amazing tool for building. Let me just get that out of the way. Okay, next we have this funny looking sphere over here. So this may get a little confusing for some of you, but we can pick our radiuses based on the X, Y, and Z axes. Our X axes being the gold blocks here, our Y axes being the iron blocks, and our Z axes being the diamond blocks coming towards us. So if we want a sphere to look a specific shape and we have specific radiuses that we would like to use, we can type them in like this. I'm going to do a hollow sphere for this example. So I type H sphere, then our block stone. Actually, let me use andesite for this example so that you guys can see the outlines of the blocks. Then we need our X, Y, and Z axes in this order. So X comma Y comma Z, just like that, except we're going to fill that in with numbers now. So we want our X axes to be three blocks. As you can see, our gold is three. We're going to do it the same size as the demonstration one I've laid out. So our X is three. Our Y is the iron blocks. That's eight. And our Z are the diamond blocks coming towards us. And that number is four. Create our sphere. And we're going to go through. Now we can see that it's created a sphere based on our X, Y, and Z axes. And I will show you guys this. So here is our Y. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blocks up. Here is our X, one, two, and three. I'm gonna go on the side to demonstrate the Z, which is right here. One, two, three, four. Our X, Y, and Z axes laid out perfectly in the sphere. This can be very useful for building because you can get a sphere to be the exact shape that you want if you play around with it enough. Okay, that's it for spheres. Let's move on to cylinders. 
Do you guys ever get jealous of people who make those perfect circles in Minecraft with almost no effort? Like, that's obnoxious, isn't it? They, they're just so perfect. Well, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get perfect circles of your own with the cylinder command. So, if you want a circle on the ground like this, we're going to make a cylinder. So, I want the cylinder to be hollow. Just like the sphere command we just did, our cylinder, in order to make it hollow, we just put an H in front of it. So we go H, sill. Then we do our block. I'm going to do stone for demonstration purposes. You can use whatever block you wish. Now we need a radius and a height. These are the only two specifications you need to put in for a cylinder, unlike with the sphere, which has three radiuses. Okay, so... Our cylinder is going to have a radius of 5 for demonstration purposes, and because we want it to be a flat circle on the ground, we're going to do a height of 1. So now we can see that a circle has spawned around us with a perfect radius of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks, and a height of just 1. <laughs> just one block high. Alright, if we want this circle to be filled in, we would just take the H out of our command. So, for demonstration purposes, we do so, stone, 5, and 1. And we have the same exact shape, except now it's a filled in circle. Now, we can take these commands and add a higher height to them to get a much better cylinder. So, we can do this with the hollow one, slash slash h, sill, our block, our radius, let's do 6 to change it up, and a height, let's go 10. Now we can see that a hollow cylinder has formed around us with a height of 10 blocks from the ground. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And a radius of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks. It's exactly the way that we wanted it to be. Alright guys, one more thing with the cylinder that I forgot to mention is that you can have two radiuses. So just like with the sphere, we can actually make an oval instead of a circle. So we do that like this. We type slash slash h cell our block, we're going to use stone. Then we can do two radiuses. This way you get an oval. So I'm going to do my first radius as 3 and my next radius as 10 and then I'm going to keep my height to 1 just to keep it simple. Now you can see that I have created a xy axis, the center right here, the x being 3 blocks, and the y being 10. You can use this to create oval shapes however you want them, and however high if you want them. Of course, you cannot add a third command to distort it further, like with the sphere. There are only two possibilities for the radius of a circle. So let me change it up a little bit more. Let's do 15 and 5. Now we've got a oval going the other way. As you can see, you can kind of do this whichever way you want. Make it work for your build. Alright, I hope these commands were helpful for you guys. I'm now going to show you some builds where I use these commands quite a bit. Alright guys, so here's the final clip for this world edit tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to use the sphere and cylinder command in a build, or how I use it in a build. This can vary from builder to builder, of course. So here we have the roof of one of these pillars. This pillar was initially marked out with the cylinder command, and then a lot of detail was added to it. At the top here, we have half of a sphere. So what I did was, as you can see over here in the redstone blocks, I made a full, perfect sphere and then I set air to the bottom half of it in order to get a perfect roof shape. Here you can see a less detailed version of it. And over here you can see in my wire framing, I've actually used the cylinder command three times to make perfect circles where I want to mark out the structure for a section of this build. In these pillars, right here. I have also used the cylinder command. This one had a radius of, let's see, 1, 2, 3. So a cylinder with a radius of 3 and a fairly large height was put into this build. 
and then detailed out. So that's how I use it very frequently in my builds, mostly in the wireframing and then afterwards very commonly for roofs. I hope you guys can find lots of use for this type of command in your builds. Best of luck and happy building. Thanks so much for watching guys. Who knew your geometry class was going to come in handy in Minecraft, right? <laughs> See you next time.